So this question is about uh, combustion of propane. Propane is uh, C3H8 and uh, combustion it means reacting with oxygen. So plus O2 to give us CO2 plus water. And uh, to balance it, we have three carbon here, so put three here. Then uh, we have eight hydrogen, we have two here, eight here, so we need to put four here. So four. And then uh, oxygen here is two, here is uh, six, six plus four, that's ten, so we need to put five here. This is five. So this is the answer to uh, question A. For question B, it's asking us to uh, calculate the delta H of reaction. So delta H of reaction would be the E of formation of products minus E of formation of reacting. And that would be three times the E of formation of CO2, which is minus 393.5, plus the E of formation of uh, gaseous water. So this is gas, this is gas, this is gas, and this is gas. That's four times minus 241.8 minus the products. Or minus reactant, so that's one times uh, minus 103.85 plus zero because oxygen is zero, and all these together will give us uh, minus 2043.85 kilojoules, which is the same thing as minus 2.043 times 10 to 3 kilojoules. So the part C wants us to determine the mass of water that will warm up with uh, that amount of heat energy. So we know Q is equals to MC delta T, and Q is minus 2043 times uh, 10 to the power 3. Because, uh, let me put it this way, minus 2043.85. And that's in kilojoules, I have to convert it to joules, that, that's 10 to the power 3. Joules will be equal to the mass of water multiplied by specific capacity of water 4.184 joules grams degrees Celsius multiplied by temperature change which is 100 minus 25. So this should give us uh, mass will be equal to. And this should be positive because it's the heat that's absorbed by water. So this will be the mass 6513.22 grams of H2O. That's the mass of water, that's that amount of heat can range from 25 to 